Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at creating page title bars in Avada. The page title bar is a very versatile page area that sits directly under the header. Let's have a look at this flexible page section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. OK, let's begin. A page title bar area can be created in two ways in Avada. There is the global options based legacy method and there is the Avada Layouts method, which of course is the method we recommend. We are not going to cover the legacy method here, but I will link to the legacy video below if you want to look at that method. As I mentioned, we recommend using Avada Layouts, as it provides unlimited flexibility of design. So if we look at Avada Layouts, we can see that the page title bar section is a layout section that sits between the header and the site content. The easiest way to add a page title bar to your site is to create a page title bar layout section and then assign it to whatever layout you want. This method allows you to use the full design power of the Avada Builder, and you can add whatever content you wish inside the page title bar section. So to start, let's get an idea of what can be done with this versatile feature, and then we will look at how to create one and set it up using Avada layouts. Many of the Avada pre-built websites use page title bars. They don't necessarily use them on all pages, and they serve different purposes. So let's look at a few examples. If we look at the campaign pre-built, we can see that there are five different page title bar layout sections, used for search results, single products, events, single posts, and a default one that's used on some of the pages. If we look at the layout builder, we can see the various layouts where a page title bar layout has been assigned. So you're going to use a page title bar layout section for different purposes with different content. And generally, because a PTB is part of a layout, most of the content will be dynamic. Let's look at the single post PTB as an example. Here we only have three elements, and the top two are pulling dynamic data. There is the post meta element pulling the post meta, and a title element dynamically pulling the post title. Under this is just a social sharing element. If we look at the PTB for the search results, we can see it is a container with a background image and a dynamic title and the search element. And if we look at the Nutritionist pre-built website, we can see that there are eight page title bars in play, used in a whole variety of ways. If we look at the single post page title bar, in this case it's just a container with a background image that's being pulled from the post's featured image. And in the single guide PTB, there are two columns, one dynamically pulling the featured image, and in the other column there are three elements dynamically pulling the date, the guide title, and the author. So as you can see, you can use page title bars in many different ways. Now let's look at the process of creating and adding a page title bar to a layout. For my example, I'll use the Como Farm site here that I created in the two-part video series How to Customize Avada Pre-Built Websites. If you haven't seen those, check them out. I will leave links below the video. So here, if I search for something, we get a results page, but it doesn't have a page title bar. To start, I'll go to the Layout Section Builder and choose Page Title Bar as the Layout Section Type and give it a name of Search PTB. I'll just hit Enter and that Layout Section is created. Now to add my content. For this Page Title Bar, I'm just going to add a single container. But what's really important to understand here is that when it comes to content, you can add whatever you want in here. Just remember that a layout section is part of a template, and so mostly you will want dynamic content here. That said, in this example it's just for a search results page, and so I don't really need dynamic content here. Also, I'm going to build mine manually, but if we go to Avada Studio here, there are plenty of page title bar layout sections ready to add to the builder and use or customize. In any case, I will cancel out of this and build my own. I'll just quickly go through the build process. But remember, this will be different in every instance. So I will add a 1 1 container to start. I will edit the container, and on the background tab, I'll add a background image. I think I will use this one at full size. I'll also set the background blend mode to overlay. Then I'll go to the color tab and add color 7 as the color, and add minus 70 into the alpha channel to make it more transparent. Okay, now I will add 100 pixels top and bottom padding and then add a title element, a text block element, and an instance of the search element. I think I will also make this column two-thirds width, and then just go back to the container 
and set the column justification to center. Okay, there's my content. Let's save that. So now if we come back to layouts, I can assign the page title bar layout section I just created to the search layout PTB section. And that's it. If I now come back to the home page and search again, we get the search results with my new page title bar at the top. Very nice. As you can see, using Avada layouts to create and assign your page title bars gives you the most possible flexibility, both in where you can assign them, but also what content you can use in their creation. Try it out today. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.